2E0 XVX with a video on All Star. Um, if you've not already done so, you need to go to www.allstarlink.org. Uh, register on there, go onto the main registration page, uh, register. Once you've done that, you'll be able to log in. When you've logged in, you'll be able to get this screen coming up here. Right, first of all, what you need to do is go to account settings and uh, go to your profile. Uh, account profile when you've done that go all the way down to the bottom of the screen and down here there'll be a thing to change to sysop uh, you're looking for the sysop uh, system once you've done that you'll be able to go back up here and it gives you all of these uh, options that are not apparent on the first screen then you need to go into server and you need to make a virtual server and then apply for a node number obviously I've got a few nodes over here uh, these are all my nodes on here. I'm not going to click on them because it's got my username and password on them. But uh, once you've got a node, uh, you're ready to uh, rock and roll then. When you've got your node number and you'll have a password in there as well. As you can see, my, my account is SysOpera, SysOperations Operator. So it allows me to register for these. Get yourself a node number and a password. When you've got that, you can go in and then set up your... I've got three here going. Um, right, you load in the Asterix operating system, which you can get from Doug Crompton's website. Go to uh, Google Doug Crompton. You'll be able to get one of his images, go through and set it up. Uh, I'm just going to show you inside one of the sound uh, fox. These are made by Allen M0 AQC. I would suggest getting one of these sound fobs from Allen because you've got to do a fair bit of work inside there and there's a bit of uh, soldering on this board here down the bottom there and if you don't know what you're doing uh, you will uh, knacker these sound fobs up uh, for the money get Allen buy one from Allen M0 AQC it comes with a lead on the back and that's it so that sound fob connects into the Raspberry Pi and then out the back of the sound fob it goes into the back of the GM340 through the comms port here there is a uh, COS pin uh, TX in RX out uh, a couple of other leads in there a um, couple of the uh, connections and that will program that will turn your radio on and off now somebody's pointed out why you use Motorola radios these radios are bomb proof inside them are proper components none of this surface mount stuff and they've got a massive heatsink on the back the whole radio all of the radio all underneath is a heatsink now bear in mind when you're transmitting that's transmitting and when the person is coming back to you it's transmitting again so you'll find that if you run a radio with surface mount technology uh, on full duplex uh, for, sorry full um, duty cycle so if you're running out at 5 10 watts that radio is going to go pop uh, pretty damn soon so these everybody uses these old in the UK taxi radios uh, they're absolutely bomb proof and they'll just keep going so that's why we use Motorola's they're a bit of a pain to set up uh, you need a bit of software which you can get off the internet and uh, I just need a, a lead with a um, rib box to program them up uh, in the UK we have to move these from the uh, taxi band down to the amateur radio band because these are out of band at mo you know when you first get them but um, that's why we use the Motorola's purely simply they're bomb proof you'll find if you use one of these um, Japanese Chinese radios uh, like a Yesu or whatever you will not run one out on 20 watts they'll go pop uh, within literally minutes they'll just get that hot uh, because they're on full TX all the time and they'll go bang so that's the all-star system and that's what's inside the sound fob I would suggest getting your sound fobs from M0 AQC Allen he builds them with the uh, pins on the back uh, for various different radios you tell him what radio you want 
he doesn't do Motorola's so I myself have got a pin layout which I can do later on I'll put a link somewhere where you can get the pin layout I found the pins which way round to do and you can go from there you can also program pin 10 of these radios so if the power goes off if you connect pin 10 to your power supply the positive when the power supply comes on it will turn the radios back on so if you're away from the shack and you have a power failure uh, obviously everything will come back on but the radios won't switch on because they've got a uh, knob to turn on and off so you need to be able to remotely um, program pin 10 so if it sees a voltage coming in it will turn the radio on great radios bomb proof anyway hope that helps all you guys that are trying to get into all star uh, other than that you can buy a uh, little micronode from a guy named Peter G7 RPG in the UK he builds an all-star uh, little box of tricks uh, all built in ready to go um, you just tell him all your details whatever once you've uh, registered for all-star you give Peter your um, node number and password and he'll embed that in there and he gets it all set up 7.3, so hope that uh, gives you a bit more information on All Star.